Yo, what's up guys, John Boogle here, and it is finally here, the Into the Future Chapter 3 Moon Guide, aka Awaken Bahamut Guide, hype in the chat, it is finally here. Now let's hop into the lineup, it is possible no gotcha if you don't want to use Cycle Cat, you're just gonna have to rely on little nice slow procs, and it's not too reliable, so I just recommend getting Cycle Cat. Macho Legs is also usable in this level, but you don't want to use anti-floating units like Necromancer because it does get outranged and it is very pointless. Even though Castaway Cat gets outranged too, he can get a hit off, so if you get lucky enough, you may be able to get a freeze proc off every now and then, but I don't recommend bringing him if you don't want to rely on luck. Just bring Cycle Cat and that's all you basically need. And Bahamut is floating too, so if you have Ubers like Windy or any anti-floating Ubers that are perfectly good against Bahamut that can outrange Bahamut, make sure you do use it. And anti-alien units like Afro, Catman, stuff like that are very overpowered against Bahamut. And of course we gotta bring the Double Dragon Duo and of course Valkyrie Cat. Now this is a very changeable one. If you don't want to use Valkyrie you don't have to but those freeze procs can come in clutch so just keep this suggestion in mind if you don't have any Ubers. And of course we gotta bring Bahamut and if you have Afro you can actually replace Bahamut but keep your Runner and Wolf you want to get those clutch knockbacks. Unless you have an uber that already does knock back against floating slash alien enemies. But yeah, that was the lineup. Psycho Cat is the MVP of this lineup, so make sure you have that. Now, no. Hold up. Just a minute before you hop into the level. Just because you have the right lineup does not mean you'll win. The most important part is, of course, the treasures. And treasures has become a meme at this point, but it really isn't. It does make a huge, huge, huge difference, so make sure you do get all the treasures. Now it is finally time for the in-depth guide for Into the Future Chapter 3 Moon, Awaken Bahamut. Let's hop into it. And of course, if you do have power-ups you want to use, you can use Sniper or CPU. Rich Cat, you won't really need it. And I'm gonna bring an XP up just because and moon stages do typically give a large amount of XP so why not I have a whole bunch might as well use them and here we go so once we start off the level of course get your wallet maxed out and your money at the cap there is a lot of spamming in this level so make sure you do get your worker at level 8 and your money is capped out at the maximum and do not worry we don't have to sit here for 10 minutes for our money to max out it's an easy way by taking out these small peons and this enemy is very easy to take out it has a low amount of health but the damage is formidable so just take it out quickly and it does give a decent amount of cash. Now if you're struggling in the beginning year that means you are definitely not ready for this level. Come back when you do have some requirements. Once again you don't need like plus 20 cats. You only need level 30 and you're good. With treasures and level 30 cats it is very easy and you won't run into any problems with those levels. Now here we go, our wallet is at the max but we kind of over pushed a little bit and our money won't be at the maximum potential so Bahamut might come out a little bit early but here's the whole strategy. Most people would think that you start pushing forward and try to keep the Bahamut near his base. Well I think you should lure the Bahamut to your base and I'll explain why. So even without knockback units and anti-floating or alien knockback units, Bahamut does have a lot of knockback. Bahamut is very easy to knock back and that's the whole reason we want to lure him to our side. So bring him to your side, start Psycho Cat stacking and maybe we'll get a freeze proc off on Valkyrie right there. And she got yeeted. Yikes. But as you can see there, one Bahamut attack and he got knocked back. So the reason you want to lure him to your side is you want to actually take him out 
before you push him to his side. And the reason you want to do this is because once you stack a whole bunch of dragons and such against Bahamut and he's pushed back to the limit and he can't go back any further, what will happen is your cats will start moving up but the Bahamut will stay in the same spot. Since it is a boss, it can't move back any further behind the base. So this creates a problem where you're knocking back Bahamut but your cats are moving forward into his attacks. So you want to make sure you absolutely kill the Bahamut before you knock him back at his knockback limit and it's right in front of the base and you'll see that in this level. It is the same thing with many other bosses in Battle Cats like the Neandum on some levels and of course I mean a good example is the Neandum on Chapter 2 Moon. He cannot be knocked back behind the base so you can continuously knock him back but with Bahamut and his rapid attack speed you will get demolished if you run into him. Now this is a big big reason why we brought Valkyrie Cat. If he does in this level get knocked back to his limit and he can't be knocked back anymore and our cats start moving forward our only way to stop his attacks is to freeze him and if Valkyrie can get those freeze procs off and our cats are able to survive a little bit longer and get more knockbacks to immobilize the Bahamut and stop his attacks even more then we won't have that issue of our cats running straight into Bahamut's attacks because in that knockback phase as soon as he's in that knockback animation all of your cats won't detect a unit there they won't detect Bahamut in that spot so that's why they move forward and bam they all run into his attack it's similar to Into the Future Chapter 2 Moon and look at that we're at his limit already. So that's the whole goal here we want to immobilize <laughs> Bahamut as much as possible and there we go he went down Chapter 3 treasures come in clutch but yeah that's the whole reason we keep Bahamut in these status effects so he's constantly getting knocked back from damage knockbacks you run run wolf he's constantly getting slowed by psycho cat and frozen by valkyrie so he won't be able to attack as much and that's the goal and there we go we have beat into the future chapter 3 moon and we have now acquired awakened bahamut and let's see that amazing true form evolution here we go bam new cat combos unlocked that's always nice and there it is special unit bahamut cats true form acquired and we can evolve that right now and we also got talents overpowered abilities and here we go on into the mid game of battle cats bam yes, yes, we yes, are yes. officially past the beginner stage yes. of battle cats and into the mid game Man, look at that Awaken Bahamut. So powerful and fast and a very, very key unit in a lot of manic stages. And we now have talents unlocked, so on any true form units with talents available, we can get talents on them. So that's pretty overpowered. And this was not in the game when the manic stages first came out, so this is very very overpowered this early on so if you kept some gotcha units in your cat storage and let's say you have ubers or dupes for ubers you can exchange them for NP and get these overpowered talents and of course talents on ramen that defense buff and lots of other exciting things to come but yeah that was the into the future chapter 3 moon guide awaken bahamut guide drop a like if you did enjoy and this guide did help you out subscribe if you're new join the hashtag boom gang and manic stages or manic guides coming very soon it's been john boogle and see ya